Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Matt Modi with Dodge Jam, and the WNBA is back. We got three games today, so what I'm going to be doing in this video is just giving you my WNBA best bets. Uh, I had been on just an incredible hot streak prior to Sunday's WNBA action, where I went one and two on my picks with two of my bigger bets losing. So hopefully, I am able to get back in the winning column today. Um, I have one bet so far for today's betting slate that I really, really like. And what we're looking at here is the Connecticut Sun minus seven and a half versus the New York Liberty. So this is something that I've actually already locked in. As you can see here, Connecticut Sun minus seven and a half, minus 110 odds. It is still available at this price. So I definitely recommend tailing this. And let's talk about it. So number one, it's positive EV, right? I pulled it from the Ajdam positive expected value page. Uh, the the Ajdam line, which is the sharpest line in the world, uh, prices this at minus 125. And with the VIG removed, it's priced at minus 116. So to talk about these odds for a little bit, like I mentioned, the odds jam line pulls odds from the sharpest sports book in the world. The way this works is this sports book accepts sharp money, it accepts sharp action, uh, and they really don't have limits on how much money that they will accept, even for lower level markets, such as the WNBA, which doesn't, you know, most other sports books don't get as much money. Um, on this specific sport, they just don't receive as much money, it's not as heavily bet. So these lines are going to be incredibly efficient, incredibly accurate in terms of just true pricing for what a market should be priced at. And because other sports books don't have as much money put on the WNBA, you can find some really good value. Uh, but it's all based on this odds jam line here, which I have found to be really, really sharp, specifically for the WNBA as well. Uh, the market width here is only 16 cents. Uh, basically, this number measures confidence in what the odds jam line is being priced at. Um, you, all it does is it just calculates the difference between these two lines. So 25 minus 9 equals 16, and anything below 25 is within range. And this is just to signify confidence. So the lower, the closer these two numbers are together equals the lower the market width, which equals more confidence in the line. So again, this being at 16, that's great. So all in all, this equates to a profit margin of about 2.57%. This can also be viewed as your percent edge over the sports book. Basically, the, the bigger the gap between the no big odds and the odds that you'd be betting it at, which in this case is minus 110 on Caesars, the bigger the edge, the bigger the profit margin, the higher this percent is going to be. So uh, this percent, like I said, can be viewed as your mathematical profit margin for this specific bet. So every $100 bet on this 2.57%, or excuse me, on this bet, you're going to get roughly $2.57. Now, I understand that doesn't seem like a lot on first glance, you know, $2.57. Obviously, you're not breaking the bank with that. But it's important to understand that A, this is just one bet, and B, uh, this bet will be settled tonight. So you'll actually get this profit. You, this profit will be realized tonight. So if you're placing however many bets you are a day, you know, today, today might be a little bit of a lighter day because there's only the MLB, or it's during the MLB All Star break, so you have a little bit of a lower level sports to bet on. You can still uh, watch your profit slowly compound upon each other by placing positive expected value bets. So don't get discouraged by the lower percents. Uh, you're not going to get rich in one night. It's kind of a long-term play. But all in all, this all checks out from a math perspective. But really, what I like about the WNBA, why I have had so much so much success, is not only am I looking at just you know positive expected value plays based on the odds themselves, but also when you compare across all the sports books. So again, we got the spread minus seven and a half, minus 110 odds. No other book is offering minus 110 odds at this price. MGM's at minus 115, Tipico minus 125. So basically the IGM line, Bet Rivers minus 113, and Bet Online minus 116. So no book is offering minus 110 odds. Another reason why I like it, and the main reason why I like it, is most books actually price this spread at eight or eight and a half. So they think that this that the Sun shouldn't be seven and a half point favorites. Instead, they should be eight or eight and a half point favorites. Bookmaker, which is another sharp um, offshore book, the Ajdam line, which is the sharpest line in the world, have this at a full point higher at minus eight and a half. So you're getting a total or a spread a point lower than what the sharpest sports books in the world think it really should be priced at. And if, for those of you that have watched um, my videos before getting an extra point can be huge. There was one play where I took an over or took under 170 and the total landed at exactly 
170. So if I didn't get, if I didn't beat the closing line, even by that one point, that bet would have lost. So it's important to beat the closing line, even if it's by half a point. And in this case, as of right now, it's by a full point. So um, I know, again, it's kind of similar to the two and a half percent profit margin. Beating the closing line by a point or even half a point doesn't seem like a lot, but in the long run, it, it I mean, it just changes everything in the long run. So getting spreads or totals just wildly different than what sharper sports books have these things priced at. That's how I've had so much so much success betting on the WNBA. And then lastly, I do a little bit of my own handicapping. I'm not going to pretend I do a ton. Uh, the the stats that I like the most in terms of team performance is go to, uh, this is just WNBA.com. I go to teams, stats, is the advanced stats and look at net rating. This is generally going to be the sharpest stat in terms of perform, um, pl- uh, grading team performance. And as we can see, the Sun, the best team in the WNBA, 7.7 net rating. The Liberty, all the way down at 10th. Now they're not quite as bad as the Fever. I mean, the Fever is the worst or, this, or the Sparks. But they're tenth, and they're in their tenth by. I mean, a pretty sizable gap between them and the ninth place team, the Atlanta Dream. So, the spread at seven and a half is a little bit high, which obviously bakes into the talent gap between these two teams. But you know, based on the net rating difference, the talent gap, and the gap in terms of what other sports books have the spread priced at, I put the full five unit mix slam on the Sun minus seven and a half minus, or excuse me. I, yeah, minus 110 odds. I put 125 on it, full five unit McSlam, and that's going to be it. That's going to be my official WNBA bet today. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Modi underscore Matt as I post more plays throughout the day. But for now, this is going to be it. So I definitely recommend taking this one. Put the full five unit, whatever your five unit max, on, max is on the sun, minus seven and a half, and that's going to be it. So appreciate you guys watching, and have a good one.